Welcome to the New Mexico Tech Cafeteria. This place, this place we've been here 12 years and, and great because they have all kinds of selection. Players and coaches love it. In fact, Dawn Hearn, our athletic trainer, told me yesterday that we have less injuries here in Socorro because she thinks the players that eat such a good, have such a proper nutrition and eat plenty of food here that, that helps alleviate injuries. So, first, as they come in, we have walk in, you have to have a salad bar. Also, you know, you have Elijah Gold Trap, selection. You have the salad bar with fruits and uh, yogurts and, of course, desserts also. Quite a few selections as you come in. You have the, the, the hamburger, this is Catherine Wickham is, is uh, observed right here with french fries, onion rings, then we move on over. You have the pasta station with the, uh, with the wraps. The wraps have been very popular, I found out, and I kind of like this because as we go through the year, I kind of have a good idea what our players like. We have the wrap, pasta station, as Miss Wickham, see, now she moves over to the, to the wrap station. Okay. Now, we go over, we have a sandwich, sandwich bar. Consuela here is an expert sandwich maker. People can stop having sandwiches. Then we move over to the hot hotline. Well, before the hotline, every day they have all kinds of, of pizza. They keep the pizza coming fresh, and it's always a big hit with, with, with all of our group. Come on over to the hotline. Today, we have... Uh, Sesame chicken, pork chops with rice, and then also we always have some more pasta over here. We have the, the stuffed shells and some uh, green peas and vegetables. Always, we always have the rice and beans and they'll play taco and fajita makings over here. This part. Normally they have fish. Let's talk about our chef here. The chef. Is, is came here from uh, New York City. He'd been a personal chef, chef, personal chef for Jerry Seinfeld and Donald Trump. Last month he worked Donald Trump at, at his house. So got a warning to work, get out of New York City, come to a smaller place. Ended up in New Mexico today. Okay, come on, come on, as we walk out into the to the area, eating area. Seats about 200 people, but uh, you have all kinds of juices. They do a great job having the Gatorade and the apple juice out. Have all the the uh, water, the milk back over the left. They also have an I uh, ice cream station at the end. It really helps the players keep their weight on. Today we have four different stations, four different types of ice cream: strawberry. Vanilla, chocolate, and back here we have my favorite, coffee, the coffee ice cream. So, uh, great way we, we keep our weight up here at Camp Sephora. And I wish we could have something like this on our campus at UTEP. It would be really good, but I've been told too, they told me they, you have to have 500 people to go through a, a, a food, to buy a food card to have this. So maybe maybe someday we can have something like this on campus. It would be great. Making ragu alla bolognese, uh, which is an Italian uh, meat sauce, and um, I like to do it um, with a bruset bruce style, which, which are just a hint of um, crushed pepper. Um, I like it better because um, I used to work with a um, dear friend of mine, um, Anna Teresa Collin, which she's an Italian chef. She doesn't like to call herself a chef, but she's an amazing. You know, she makes food look super simple, and she's also a friend of Julia Child's, so it's pretty awesome. Separation. I want no separation. Right? No separation down here. 
If I got him, if I got him separated, all you do is sit it down right here. It's touchdown, right? Here we go. Okay. Go. Good, right there. Good. He's he's our leader. He's our starter. You know, he's by far our best corner that we have on the football field. And uh, you know, he makes a play every day. He's very consistent in doing that. Been around a while, and he's another guy that's improved a lot. You know. Uh, and he's gonna be, and he's he's right in there for that starting position. You know, it's up for grabs. So you know, whoever wanted, they can have it. When he came over, he was the, you know, it, it was surprising how fast he learned. And uh, you know, he just got better every day, every day. Uh, in the weight room, got faster, got stronger. I mean, he's very committed uh, uh, to being the best okay. football player that he can be. He is just a play. Maker, the ball is in the air. It's his. He's a very physical tackler, really good tackler, really smart. You know, he's just an unbelievable, you know, competitor on the football field. We all had a space because we was backing those guys up. But, you know, we just stepped up in the place. That's what it is. When we got depth chart, we just step up and take over. With a lot of injuries and just other things, and it just feels good to actually step up and get some playing time. I only played running back in high school. But, yeah, I came in as a receiver, and then probably, like, right after camp, they moved me to DB as a freshman. So it was a long process. I mean, it was slow at the beginning, but now I feel like I got the hang of it. Right now, I'm starting. Mm -hmm. So hopefully going into the first game, I'll <laughs> do my thing and keep that spot.